I'm here with Sandra King of Irish Fiber Crafters and she is um, herself and Megan O'Malley are going to be giving a embroidery workshop in the Yates Tower on the 27th of July, which is a Saturday. And Sandra, tell us a little bit about the workshop. I know that there's something special included it in a tour, is it? Mm -hmm. Yes, we're going to um, be working in a little studio that um, Thor Bally Lee has restored. It's a beautiful space to work in. It's in a really tranquil setting there at the tower. So that's where we will be having our workshop. Um, then we will also take everyone on a tour of Yates Tower. Uh, the tour lasts about an hour. It's full of information about um, his family and how they lived there at the time. His sisters, um, Lily and Lolly Yates uh, were known for their embroidery. We'll hopefully have a sample of their work on display. Um, and then we will teach three types of embroidery. Megan is going to teach the, just the classic freeform embroidery and cruel embroidery, which is a form of the free form but it's, made, it's done with wool, which is very suitable to um, oh, yes. us here because this is a sample of cruel embroidery. So the stitches are made with wool instead of cotton or silk thread. Um, then I'll be teaching um, candle wicking, which is an old co colonial American uh, form of white work where you use mostly French knots and a white thread on white fabric and make your designs that way. So I'll be teaching that. It's not very widely known here, um, mostly in the States. Okay, so uh, several different types are going to mm -hmm. be discussed and covered. Ones. Three different ones. Mm -hmm. And do people need to have experience? What kind of uh, skill level do they need? Uh, beginners or anyone who's interested in continuing their um, knowledge of ty different types of embroidery. If they don't know anything about candle wick and would like to try their hand at that. So it could be anyone really, inexperienced or experienced. Okay, and so will all the materials be provided or should people bring a few things? If they're working on something, should they bring that or? Yes, if you, if you have something that you're working on, please bring it. Uh, if you have a piece of clothing, article of clothing, or maybe a tablecloth, something like that, that you would like to embroider, bring that with you. We'll provide the patterns, the thread, the needles, all the materials that you'll need to work with. Okay, so if you don't have anything, you're absolute beginner, oh. just show mm -hmm. up and that's fine mm -hmm. as well. But if you have something you want to embroider on, bring mm -hmm. that, etc. Yeah. Oh, that sounds yeah. great. And so tell me, what what time is it running from and how much is the cost? Okay, we're going to meet here in Irish Fiber Crafters a little before 10 o'clock that morning. We're going to carpool down to Yates Tower. Um, we are going to be there all day until five o'clock. So it'll be a long day, but it'll be a lot of fun. And we will have, we'll provide a light lunch. There'll be tea, coffee, cakes, and a light lunch for everyone. Um, it, well, the cost is 125 per person. And that includes everything, their materials, the tour of the tower, and the instruction. Okay, and um, do people need to book? How do they get in touch if they want to take the class? Yes, we need, we're going to be limited to 10 people. So we need anyone who's interested to book uh, through our website, irishcrafters.com. Irish Fiber Crafters? Irish Fiber Crafters. I, I put it on the screen as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, irishfibercrafters.com. Um, and uh, there's a little place there where they can book. And you can pay a deposit. You uh, up front, you don't have to pay the whole amount. You can okay. pay a deposit and pay the balance on the day. On the day. Mm -hmm. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Well, we will see you there. Hope so.
there's a funny looking conker there on the horse chestnut tree. It must have had a little insect bore in it or something cause it. I think. There's horse chestnuts. This is the old mill we're approaching now by the Yates Tower. So here's the mill stream diverted off the main river and of course because we've had a drought all summer even though we here in the west we've got a fair bit of rain uh, in August the water level is still well below what it would be so that the main river is pretty much dry that's what I'm assuming anyway I'm, I've not been here before but I would imagine I mean certainly looks like that river usually is running as well as the mill stream There's not a soul here at the moment than, other than me and I say it's probably that way a lot of the time because this is sort of one of those hidden attractions that isn't particularly busy which is lovely if you just want to come for some peace and quiet and atmosphere and think about the history of this place. Yeah so we won't go there and fall in the mill stream. But look, there's so many birds, you probably heard them singing as we were coming down. And a lot of lovely plants. Here we have some wild rose hips. And then the hawthorn is in berry. There, so, oh, it's really, really lovely. So if you're in Galway, do come to the Yates Tower and enjoy it for yourself. <laughs>